got to talk about this one, Melissa. I want to know what you think, because this is a big story in the world of sports, but really a big story, in the, I would argue, in the world of business. A judge denying a request from three professional golfers to play in a PGA Tour event this week after they chose to join the Saudi-backed Live Golf Circuit earlier this summer. Now, the golfers are among a larger group who sued the PGA Tour, alleging that the top U.S. golf league had violated antitrust laws by expelling them as punishment for joining the rival organization. What do you think of this? Well, the judge, the judge's ruling was made in part on the notion that the contract or the agreement um, yes. with the other circuit basically compensated them for what they were leaving behind on the PGA, and so it was fine to say that you are excluded from this tour. I, I can see the logic in that. I can see the logic. The other question, though, is do you think on a larger sort of antitrust basis that oh. these these players are going to have a fighting chance, or do you think that ultimately what the judges said in this particular case is going it's to precedent. be the, the be the president? By the way, if this becomes the president, mm -hmm. every other uh, commissioner of every other league can you know breathe a huge sigh of relief. Oh yeah, because this 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 is a major win for the PGA and frankly a major loss for Live. I had not thought about it in, in that way. I think that's a really a really good point whether or not this is pro I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if this gets appealed or if this gets um, litigated. Oh, uh, this is just the beginning of a, yeah. a years long battle. I'm sure. I'm sure.